going on guys? So today I'm going to attempt to tint the rear taillights on this car. So I tried once before and I had a kit from Amazon. Um, I'm not going to say it was the kit's fault because I haven't tried this. It could be a me thing. I, these things are kind of hard to do. You know, I, I've done some vinyl wrapping. Um, you saw I've done the corners before and the spots on the taillights and the blackout kit and stuff. So it's not rocket science, but it definitely has some tips and tricks to figure out what you're doing and how to do it right. So um, I'll show you the kit I bought. This is a kit called Bogertech, Bogertech, B-O-G-A-R-T-E-C-H. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'll throw a link to that in the description. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I may use to try to get this done and we'll see how it works. So we'll go through this together. Could be a disaster, it could look awesome. So here's how the taillights look now. I've got, sorry, I'm getting some glare here. It's kind of hard to film in the garage with the way my house points. So I'll try to uh, get the lighting set up. But this, these are just some um, vinyls I got off Amazon. I did another video on how I installed them and I will say they are not as good as anything that just stick it sells because these are going to be a pain to get off I can already tell. So um, I guess not. Once you get under there they aren't too bad. So that's that's what I had on there before and there's one right here. Um, so the kit I got this vinyl is a little bit different. So you can see it all comes pre-cut. They tell you which side is which, passenger driver, and uh, it's very thin. It seems like it's gonna be easy to work with, but it could be really hard to work with. So you can see it's all pre-cut real nice. And uh, yeah, it, looks, it seems to be good quality. So let me go ahead and peel off these old vinyls and I'll show you uh, some of the stuff we're gonna use. All right, so the first step I'm doing here I'm going and cleaning off everything real well. Make sure there's not waxes or uh, you know oils or anything like that on here. So I'm using just invisible glass. Seems to work well for me. And make sure you get it nice and clean. Try to get down in those crevices and stuff. clean light is going to be the key to having a good install. And then I'll show you, so there's two solutions you use to apply the taillight, tint, and tack it. So, give me a walk in front of you guys. So, the first stuff I have and I made these myself. Um, there's a tutorial online how to make these. I'll try to remember to link in the description. Um, this is the slip solution. All this is, is baby shampoo and water. So this, you spray this down and you can slide the tail light all, or the tent all over and readjust and stuff. And then the other solution is called a tack solution. And this is half water half rubbing alcohol. I think it's 70%. So this helps tack it down and uh, gets rid of the slip solution. So I'll show you the first step here. So the first steps is you're going to, oh, there's the, the famous bird clock. So you're going to pull this piece off and the first part, sorry, I've got a bunch of crap in my trunk for work and stuff, um, is you're gonna apply these end pieces. So there's one here one there, one there, and one here. And these are gonna be a dry application. So you're basically just going to get them in the right spot, lay them down and hit them with a hair dryer heat gun. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we've got our heat gun over here. Let me give us some more light. Okay, 
Okay. So like I was saying, be careful of how much heat you apply to this stuff because it can go south really quick. You can melt your vinyl and ruin it. You can mess up your car. So you'll see how easy this vinyl is to work with so far. Now, obviously this is the easiest part, so I'm not gonna get too excited yet. So that's all you're gonna do for the first part. So um, get some heat on there, get it tacked down. Like I said, that part is a dry application. The rest of the stuff is gonna be a wet application. There we have it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three uh, side pieces like that, because they're super easy, and then we'll move on to the hard stuff. Okay, guys, for this next step, you're going to use your slip solution and just spray this down real well. Spray that down real well. Remember, we've got the tack solution too. And then uh, what they said is we need to spray down the uh, tent as well. So start peeling it off here. And it's got a nice cutout for the camera, all kinds of stuff. So. that's going to separate the men from the boys. I'll do what I did and let it stick together. You can see how much that slip solution helps. Like it'll still kind of cling to here, but you can also uh, move it around to get just the right spot. So I can already say confidently that this is a way better kit than what I've ordered on Amazon. you'll see we're too short right and we've got some some fingers right here so what we'll do is we'll just gently pull and stretch that vinyl so we've got full coverage and it seems like whatever vinyl this company uses is real it's almost it almost kind of reminds me of a tent just like a window film but i know that's not stretchy like this but uh, it just seems really easy to work with so far so now we'll start getting some of these fingers and stuff out get them out up top and we're gonna have to grab our tack solution got a lot of fingers up top. So sit tight guys, let me grab that. Okay, so now that we've got it somewhat where we'd like it, we're going to lift up the top part and spray some of our tack solution down in there, down towards the, the middle area right here. So. Make sure it's still positioned and then we can move it on the end. So now that I've applied some of the tack solution in there, I'm going to go ahead and smooth that down because I like where it's at in the middle.
Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a lot of fingers, okay? So what we're gonna do is get a little bit of heat in our squeegee, just that over here, moron. And since we have that tack solution in here, we can just slowly tack this down. And you can see they're already almost all gone. We've got some down here too. Again, like I said before, you don't want to use too much heat. Let the curves of the car kind of guide you. And you can see as you're moving the heat gun over the car, everything just tightens up. Like I said, guys, I'm pretty impressed with this film. All right, guys, I spent the last few minutes just finishing this up. You see, it looks pretty good. I've got a couple little bubbles here and there. I'll try to show you. Like, these right here, I think, will come out as it... Let's see, they're already... I just need to squeegee that up. But other than that, I'd say it's 9, 9.5 out of 10. I want to say I spent, like, it's like 40 bucks, I think, for this kit. So now I'm going to move to the other lights and show you how those are done. We'll wrap this up and see how it looks. Okay, guys, moving on to the taillights. So I told you I already did this side in here. So we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> apply our slip solution. This is just going to go just like this. Like we're gonna need just a little more slip solution. So you're just gonna line this one up with the bottom of your light here. So we'll get that in spot in our spot ish and you know what I think we need to come back this way because that's gonna cover okay yeah sorry about that guys so once you get this on here there's the uh, bird clock again you will kind of see where this goes it's just gonna line up with all of the, the corners of the tail light so what we'll do now is smooth it out put some tack solution down. Okay, so we've got this mostly where we want it. I've already done the, the tack solution and all that. So we've got this where we want it. You'll see this right here is not laying down flat. And then we've got a little spot up top that's not down flat yet. So this is where heat's your friend. And that should just tack it right down. With the tack solution and a little bit of heat. And then I did have to stretch the bottom piece over a little bit, but like I said, this film was pretty easy to do. Uh, and I know I've praised this film. This is not sponsored. I bought this full price with my money, but I just want to give credit where credit's due for a good product. Because like I said, the last film I used was just a nightmare to work with.
And of course, it's actually pretty nice out today. But the humidity is through the roof, so I am so wetting. So then they're going to come through here and just kind of line this up so you have full coverage. These will overlap just a hair on the edges and stuff. That's okay. And you can see with that tack solution how easy it is to work with. Hopefully you guys like this kind of content. I know there'll probably be people say, oh, why are you tinting your taillights? It's stupid, blah, 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 blah. Well, like I said, I think with uh, as bright as this car's lighting is all around, I don't think we're going to have any problems with visibility. Smooth that over the edge. Make sure you're overlapping that first piece I showed y'all. Now we're on to the last piece. Ugh. You can skip leg day when you do this, guys. Up and down, up and down. So again, I don't have enough heat on there, but I'm just gonna show you how that last piece fits finish this up and I'll show you the final product. All right, guys, so there we have it. So I think it looks awesome. Um, again, hopefully this video is helpful. I'm going to, this is the end, so you already saw, but uh, obviously you saw that I fast-forwarded through some of the parts because it did get a little long. I just kind of wanted to show you what worked for me and what didn't and uh, how this all turned out. So there's a couple little bubbles, I'm assuming, um, will come out as it dries, just like when you get window tents or anything like that but I think it looks awesome. Now I'm going to show you the brake lights and the running lights and you can see how uh, much this really didn't affect the output. So there's your running lights and you can see there, let me turn off this light, how bright they are still. Now we'll hit the brake lights and we'll do the turn signal. And of course, I can't say drone food because we've got a nice little thunderstorm today. So as you can see, we've still got really good output because these lights are bright. And uh, I just think it looks awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. If there's, if there's anything else you guys wanna see, uh, I'll be glad to do it. So I mean, look how good that looks. For 40 bucks, you can't really beat it. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.